In this video, I'd like to introduce and demonstrate the Abacus pre-plumbed working wall. Now, this is a modular system which is made for multiple bathroom construction. It arrives on site, factory fitted, fully tested and ready to fit. And the big advantage is that not only do you get that consistent build quality, but this can be fitted by a carpenter or a plumber or somebody who's simply been trained just to fit these systems alone. Now the time saving and the cost saving over traditional plumbing is self-evident but it's not all about the money. You're also getting that consistent quality and complete peace of mind. With this system, there are no surprises. Now to get to this stage ready for construction, the builder needs to put in fixing points for these modules and also a soil stack and some hot and cold supplies coming up behind the wall in the agreed position with isolating valves. And from then on, the module arrives on site and gives you a very, very quick installation. And after this modular system is fitted, it's ready for the border and then the tiler. And the great thing is that all those delicate items like the sanitary wear, the shower valve and everything else can be fitted on the final fix when all those trades are out the way. So it minimizes damage to the final fitments. Now another good thing is that this whole system is designed in-house by Abacus in conjunction with the architect's drawings. So once they've got the room sizes, they can come up with the design knowing that everything works. And there's even the option of putting in-wall storage, cabinets and all kinds of things. So it's not set in stone, it can be designed individually for those requirements. And the important thing is that that gives the builder a chance to add on extras. So now I wanna take you through the complete installation of this system so you can see just how easy it is to fit. Now in order to fit this abacus pre-plumbed working wall, we need the soil pipe in the corner of the stack and that sits behind the wall completely hidden. And here we've got the hot and cold supply coming in at the agreed position, that's all on the plan. And that means that that's accessible just by lifting the shelf and turning those isolating valves off if you need to in the future. But you can put the isolating valves somewhere else such as in an airing cupboard, so they don't have to be there. Now, what I also have to do is just put the soil pipe in so that it's coming along to meet the WC frame and Although we know the height of that WC, I'm a plumber, not a precision engineer. So what I tend to do is I just know roughly where I need to do it. And I put myself in a couple of temporary fixings in the bracket. And when I bring that frame into place, I can adjust that up or down to suit. Now you can see why we need a little bit of clearance at the top of the ceiling here and I'll just show you what's involved here let's look at the back first shall we now you can see that this is all mounted on plates these are part of the abacus solution because what you've got is a really solid adjustable fixing for a shower valve and in this case we're using a hands grow eye box which means that you can put different shower valves into that fitting just sort of plug and spray if you like but that just goes in there but there's also other options available but the important thing is you've got this plate in there really rigid fitting and that goes up to another plate for the shower head which is also really secure and means that you don't get any kind of wobble there or any kind of potential leaks and down here we've got the option of a bath spout going in there. So it doesn't matter whether it's a shower or a bath, this module here will work. And of course, what you can also see is we've got a nice recessed ducket in the wall. Now, very often on site, people try and make these up out of plasterboard or plywood. And of course, that can lead to leaks, especially in the shower area. So with this, it's 100% waterproof, really good solution, made for the job and sealed nicely so that can just be tiled out by the tiler. 
So I can put this into position and the flexible hoses are ready to connect up to the second part of the module. So here we've got the WCM Basin module already plumbed up. I'll just show you what's involved before I fit that. So here we've got the crimp fittings again and as you can see up this end, it's connected so that we can put the incoming mains onto there in flexi connectors and we can also connect out to the shower. Now all this is tested for up to 10 bar, so it's perfectly capable of taking the kind of pressures that you get in buildings. Now I'll just explain something about this basin frame because it's really rather clever. This allows you to put the basin on perfectly supported. You've got a very stout piece of plywood here. It will take different sizes of basin, so whatever specified if people decide they want to choose another one. And the really ingenious thing for me is this in-wall trap, which is cut back to suit the tiling and the boarding. But in here, we have a little built-in trap which can come out and be cleaned. And that simply pops in, in place. And I've never really seen anything as neat as that in the way of traps before. But the great thing is that the waste pipe then goes into the bottom of the basin and it's clear of any furniture that's underneath. All too often you find that that waste pipe and the trap finishes up taking all the space up in the cabinet. And if you've got a drawer, it fouls on the drawer. So this to me, is a really good piece of innovation. And also with this frame, you get a couple of isolating valves which have adapters to suit any flexible adapters you've got or pipe coming into there by means of the bush. So that's really versatile. The other thing is that you've got adjustability to move this up and down even when the tiling's been done when you're ready to fit the basin, which is really good because how often do you see a backfall on that waste? So really it just makes it foolproof. Now, if you want further details on this basin frame, and I recommend having a look at it, we've done a separate video about fitting this basin frame. Now we're gonna show the module for fitting the recessed storage cabinet, in this case, over the WC. Now the important thing is that we've got all these blanked off now and we can do a pressure test because even though this was all tested in the factory, we've made some connections and we want to check that nothing's been damaged in transit or so on. So we're absolutely sure that this is ready now for boarding and tiling and that there's no problems behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. 